clearly I have some big news. Uh, don't get triggered or anything. I'm gonna explain all this. It's gonna make perfect sense and I promise everything's okay. That is not why I purchased a home base though, base camp. Uh, I had been looking for quite some time for the perfect home for Jax and I and Miranda the RV as a uh, temporary base camp. You can see uh, Miranda out there in the driveway. And um, guys, I got a good deal on the right house in the right state of Illinois. Hey, Eric here, Nomadic Fanatic. Um, um, so the question, why do I choose to live in an RV? Why do I choose this lifestyle? A lot of things in life that like, I just feel the exact opposite of the way other people feel. I mean, I have no intentions of buying property in a house. And have all this debt and then buy four cars for the family and then pay those debt and then have all these credit cards that have all this mass debt and pay that and pay, pay taxes and you know it's just ever expanding you know I just never understood that concept you know getting married I don't even understand the fact of getting married the fact that you have to get married and you have to have kids. And Everybody eventually, even the craziest of nomads like me, does need a place to uh... <laughs> So, like I said, I got the right price on a piece of property with a tiny home and RV parking out in the country. I've got my freezer full of chicken and corn. The kitchen is, uh, well, basically furnished. We got, we got gas, so we got gas here coming in, paying the city for a natural gas. <laughs> All non-essential. So yeah, Eric, you buy a tiny house and I am gonna have to hit the road before putting any furniture in this house. I'll have to do it next time I come back this winter or something like that. <laughs> I got washer and dryer connections, cable. <laughs> it, wait for it, ladies and gentlemen. We have a washer and dryer. It's sprinkling outside. I gotta hop in the RV and go over to doctor's office. I am officially, guys, getting my antibody test done for COVID. Uh, uh, there, there are some reasons to believe that I already have it and I'm curious. And uh, my insurance pays for all but a $10 copay for me to get that test and find out if I've already have it. Uh, so it's just something I want to find out. It's supposed to be a two or three day uh, getting back to me and hopefully I'll get that information here in my next video. <laughs> furniture store here open within driving distance. So I am going to go peek and see what I can find at the furniture store. It is not mandatory to get it right now, but I'd sure like to acquire the furniture. <laughs> oh, I also got a lawnmower coming. So I'm going <laughs> to... Stuff. Because I just got to have stuff. Whether or not you can understand it or not, I have a job. I have an employer. I have income. I pay my taxes like everyone else. Well, mostly, some people that don't. 